All right, so let's start with online. I think face-to-face -face is often better than online because there's a lot of nuance in what somebody says in their voice versus what they write on the page. But some people don't have that option. If you live in a small town, how, what are the odds are that you're going to find a good workshop, right? So online, there's a lot of really good ones. There's one called Gotham. There's another one called The Loft. There's, another, there's the UCLA Extension Center. And these are all like very respected, well-known. They are not free. They're not extremely cheap, but they're taught by people who are extremely qualified, very well qualified. They have a lot of background. They often have a master's in creative writing. They may have been teaching workshops for a long time. They may be very successfully published. And so you can learn a lot from them. Those are the first places I would go for online. I would also look at possibly a community college. A lot of times they offer online creative writing workshops. And unfortunately, a lot of people who adjunct, myself included, at uh, community colleges have high degrees and have a lot of experience. And they're getting paid very little to do this, but they're doing it because they love the business. And so you can learn a lot. You may find somebody who is extremely knowledgeable teaching just an online you know, creative writing workshop. So those are some of the online resources that I would recommend. You, um, if you want to participate in kind of your own, like kind of independent online workshop, look on places like Query Tracker, which is a place where people post information about agents and ask questions about how to find an agent, but they post their queries. But there's also general discussion groups on Query Tracker where people kind of group together to form their own kind of online, online critique groups. There's another place called Agent Query and a similar type of format where there's a discussion group about agents, but again, there's people who form their online critique groups. And then also Facebook. There are a tremendous number of writing groups that are floating around on Facebook. If you poke around enough, you may find a pretty good critique group online from Facebook. For face-to-face, -face, the first place I would start is meetup.com. Meetup often lists a lot of local writing groups that you can go to for feedback. I would also attend writers' conferences. Look for really good writers' conferences. They're going to cost you three, $400 plus a motel room, so they're not something you're going to do on a whim. So you want something that's going to have the, the people that you want to meet and the type of things that you want to learn. Some of them may lean more toward nonfiction, or they may lean more toward mysteries, or they may lean towards children's books. So be sure you know what the conference is. Shaw, it's called writingshaw.guides online. It has a whole list of conferences around the country. You can search by date. You can search by location. You can also go to poetsandwriters.org to find, it's pnw.org to find writers' conferences. And you can go to, uh, what's the other one? Oh, newpages.com has a list of writers' conferences as well. So writers' conferences are a great place to connect with writers in your area, because if you go to a conference, you're often going to find people who are from your area or from your region that you may be able to network with in the future. But they're also a good place to take short classes, one-day classes, one-hour classes. That'll give you a lot of good information. And then the other place to find face-to-face -face groups would be through your library, library and bookstores. Most of these writers' groups meet either in a library or a bookstore, and they'll put up bulletins on the bulletin board, or the library may know about them for, through their calendar scheduling or so forth. The bookstore manager may know about some kind of group. So you know, just go out there and ask. Start talking to people. Uh, but I do believe in the value of workshops. You'd asked about that as well. The reason being that you learn more by trying to explain to someone else how to fix a problem. You'll learn more about your own work. Because when you have to explain to someone why something is not working in a story and what they might need to do to fix it, you'll start seeing the same things in your own writing. And then you know how to fix your own writing. 